Hi there, welcome to Banana World, so I needed to simply address remaining in the light. Remaining in the light is so significant, there's such countless negative powers and numerous things that need to pull you to follow through with something, cause you to answer, or pull you down into only that grimy, terrible recurrence that stays in the light, um, sibling love. I don't know the light is something you are going to say that frequently once all informers are finished with you, and young lady things simply appear to be going from terrible to more regrettable for Diddy. Since we are presently discussing him losing millions, and I'm not discussing the large numbers he likely should pay his informers. I'm, I'm talking organizations and his valued belonging rebellion. Likewise, word on the road is that youthful Miami's web recording, Carisha kindly could be holding tight an exceptionally dainty string cuz she got that due to Diddy. In any case, honey, we should simply get directly into stalling all down. Okay, one of the most recent in the Diddy show was a declaration. That he formally ventured down as Rebellion's director, clearly, this is every one of the gradually expanding influence from the claim Cassie documented when she blamed him for terrible things. Then there was the claim from Happiness Dickerson Neal, who guaranteed Diddy drove himself on her on camera. Once again in 1991, when she was in school. Another lady was going by Jane Doe, too. Claim Diddy and vocalist musician Aaron Lobby exploited her and her companion likewise at some point during the 90s. Currently, I don't know what venturing down briefly implies for this situation. However, Revolt shared a post via virtual entertainment saying our spotlight has forever been on one that mirrors our obligation to the aggregate excursion of Revolt 1. That isn't driven by any individual yet, by the common endeavors and upsides of our whole group for progressing, raising, and advocating our way of life, and that goes on as per the organization. While Diddy has recently had no functional or everyday job in the business, the choice assists in guaranteeing that that revolt remains relentlessly centered around their Mission, so in the event that you didn't realize Revolt was helped to establish by Diddy and Andy Sean back in 2013 as a music-situated computerized satellite broadcasting company, the station is committed to metropolitan contemporary music and the programming of the stage likewise. Covers social issues looked at by the African-American people group. I mean, right now it's a quite terrible search for Diddy to be the substance of such an organization given what it should rely on. Well, Diddy Group attempted to make it seem as though it was Diddy's choice to move to one side when they said that he decided to take the transitory action. Clearly, his objective in pursuing the choice was to not permit the allegations he's looking to. Occupy from revolt to mission or achievement yet did he truly step down? Or was he pushed out in the event that all there was to the claims was charges? How could he step down from revolt? The one point he made back when it was established would make him a tycoon. Well, assuming reports are anything to go by revolt. Currently began losing millions, which means the city wasn't likewise losing millions and subsequently got pushed out. I mean, they had previously begun losing key workers, and one of them has been vocal about it. First Light Montgomery who co-facilitated Revolt's web recording landmarks for me, declared she wouldn't sign on for the third time of the show the general purpose of landmarks to me was to highlight and celebrate people of color. However, in view of the claims and different charges against Diddy, he did the specific inverse, and he was at the top of the organization. We should simply say that First Light needs none of it, and she communicated that by composing on XF, YII will not be marking. On to do a third time of at Revolt's landmarks to me digital broadcast. I'm an exposition survivor, and I can't be a piece of a show that should elevate people of color while at Diddy drives the organization. She likewise said one thing I've done all through my expert vocation is be aware of my hardworking attitude and where I place my energy and time I likewise feel like rebellion administration not talking on this says a ton. And despite the fact that this webcast experience favored me, I'm done. Perhaps there was a ton of strain from others at Revolt who felt that Diddy ought not be the essence of the organization, and they pushed him out. However, think about what? There's likewise currently a proposal to purchase Revolt for 50 pennies.
but just for a couple of dollars now since the claim began making adjustments. 50 has been having a great time and has posted about Diddy in excess of multiple times on his social media. A portion of the posts are articles about Diddy and his partners in the midst of the charges. Well, others are pictures and recordings of Diddy from an earlier time, and these include a photograph of Diddy for the club hitting the dance floor with his jeans at his lower legs and a video of Cassie stowing away from Diddy under a sweeping, and when the declaration about Diddy venturing down opened. Up to the world, 50 Penny tweeted. I'll purchase that from you, playboy. Since you realize Cadillac and a TNT are going to take out, I'll give you a couple of dollars for it. If you currently offer it to me, then we can be companions. I'm serious. Call my telephone. Well, you realize who could likewise be losing with Diddy venturing down as the executive for revolting youthful Miami. Are you a miscreant? Used to be a miscreant. I'm not a miscreant. Not anymore used to be. I'm a reality teller. Currently, you're a genuine man. Fair. I will give it to you legitimate. I ain't attempting to lie, dodging, concealing, making no one feel bad. I mean, we as a whole realize that Diddy is the person who got youthful Miami to. Do Carisha be? And there have been claims that Diddy pays to have her success? Grants presently, as indicated by reports, since Diddy will as of now not be a piece of revolt, there are high possibilities that Youthful Miami could lose the show. Individuals had been cautioning Youthful Miami about Diddy even under the watchful eye of the claim for like a couple of days. Yet again, under the watchful eye of the claims that broke the web, Youthful Miami posted a photograph with Diddy, and someone inquired as to whether she had not gained anything from Cassie, and she just answered by saying the skeptic had gotten some unacceptable page on Diddy's birthday. Young Miami likewise posted several photographs with Diddy for his birthday, and there were a great deal of of remarks from individuals advising her to avoid Diddy, however, when individuals understood that she could likewise be a casualty, supporters saw likenesses between what Cassie said and what's going on with youthful Miami. For instance, in a few of the photos youthful Miami has with Diddy, she has white nails, and Cassie said in the claim Diddy made her wear white nails to differentiate the skin of the people of color he paid to lay down with her. There's likewise when Diddy sent youthful Miami roses after a contention and took her on numerous getaways, very much like what Cassie portrayed used to occur after he messed her up then sometime in the past. Youthful Miami had a horrendous breakdown and she told Twofold XL that her breakdown was on the grounds that she failed to catch her planes yet individuals were very much like thinking back. Perhaps Diddy caused the breakdown in addition to we definitely realize that Diddy presumably pees on. Youthful Miami cuz she clearly loves it. Or perhaps it turned into a mixed bag after Diddy did it too. Her, I can't say it, but you gotta make an effort. Assuming you like brilliant showers, I do brilliant showers. Meaning when the person pees on you, they pee on you wherever you like it. I very much like it. Do you have any idea what perhaps, assuming youthful Miami loses her digital broadcast on Revolt, she will at last understand that there's... There's not a lot to battle for with regards to Diddy since she could really lose everything. By the way, it's not simply about Revolt since Diddy likewise lost his organization with State House Preliminary Harlem Sanction School. The top of the school made an authority declaration on the school's site saying, following a thorough assessment, a choice has been made to end the association between Capital Private Academies and Sean Combs. While this choice was not made delicately, we immovably accept it is to the greatest advantage of our association's well-being and future. Likewise, Diddy's clothing image, Sean Jane, will as of now not be accessible on the Macy store site. Well, Macy said that they had been chipping away at staging. Out the assortment for some time since no one was purchasing Diddy's clothing image, however, the claims most likely settled on them. Rush the choice to progressively eliminate Shay John. Well, even with Diddy losing organizations, there have been a great deal of conversations about whether these individuals empowered his way of behaving and are just disassociating now, since it looks terrible for their picture yet. What is your perspective on Diddy conceivably losing millions due to the claim? And what of youthful Miami do you accept she will really stay with Diddy, 
or is she raising a ruckus around town in dread that Diddy will go baroque? Let me in on your viewpoints in the remarks segment beneath.